హలో ఫ్రెండ్స్ ఐఎమ్ ప్రశాంత్ కుమార్ వెల్కమ్ టు మై యూట్యూబ్ ఛానల్ సోషియో ప్యాక్ సో ఇన్ లాస్ట్ వీడియో వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఇండియన్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఇన్ దట్ మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇండస్ట్రీ అండ్ ఫ్యాక్టర్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ నెసెసరీ ఫర్ ద లొకేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ అండ్ ఇండస్ట్రియల్ రీజన్స్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా అండ్ ఆఫ్టర్వర్డ్స్ వైల్ డిస్కసింగ్ అబౌట్ మేజర్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా వీ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ఐరన్ అండ్ స్టీల్ ఇండస్ట్రీస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా so this much we discuss in last video in this video let us continue that with aluminum industry cotton textile industry and sugar industry paper industry and also the knowledge based industry this much we have to discuss in this list this uh, video yes, let us start so dear friends first of all let us discuss about aluminum industry so aluminum from bauxite ore we prepare aluminum so it is non ferrous metal while discussing about the mineral and power resources there we discussed about aluminum and aluminum is a wonder metal it's very cheap non corrosive and light weight metal and also it is used from the household utensils to artificial satellite so it is a wonder metal so it is a non ferrous metal and it is used what is the importance of aluminum what is the use of aluminum especially it is used in aeroplanes and automobiles railways ships household appliances electrical cables and its foils as a packing materials for paint and industry the paint industry also they use this see how much useful it is because of its usage it is called as wonder metal and to locate this aluminum industry some factors necessary the location of aluminum industry governed by availability of bauxite supply of hydroelectric power wide market and capital yeah what are the factors which is necessary for the location of industries necessary so mainly these things these factors very important and where is it the aluminum industry in which places it is distributed the distribution there uh, this aluminum industry started in 1942 at jayakayanagar in west bengal first industry started there yeah and uh, other than that some other places like alampuram in kerala mettur in tamil nadu belagavi in karnataka hirakud and uh, damanjodi in odisha renukoot in uttar pradesh koraba in chatisgarh and ratnagiri in maharashtra In these places you can see this aluminium industry okay and india has the 11th place in the world for the production of aluminium products yeah and whatever we produce in india the aluminium it is not enough to meet the demand so we are importing aluminium to the to meet the local demand so this is about aluminium industry next let us discuss about uh, this and fiber crops from that agro based mineral based industry too we already discussed iron and steel industry and aluminum industry and now agro based industry in that cotton textile industry and sugar cane industry uh, sugar industry so this too we will discuss and uh, then uh, <coughs> uh, paper industry also comes there so this one first of all cotton textile industry the first modern cotton textile industry at mumbai which was started in 1854 yeah and uh, this cotton textile industry is you know it is a biggest and a very important the most important branch of textile industry in india yeah and uh, <coughs> it is uh, the cotton uh, it is not the new one in india from ancient time we know this one we had hand looms actually yeah so the first modern uh, textile industry that is in 1854 it started yeah uh, that is cotton mill led to mumbai yes and now india stand, ranks uh, second in the world uh, in the cotton fabric production so that much developed in india so first place china second ours yeah and uh, india is the second largest exporter of cotton textile see how much a big uh, contribution from cotton textile industry and to locate this cotton textile industry some uh, factors necessary especially it is a supply of raw cotton <coughs> wherever the cotton is 
growing in that area it is easy <coughs> and power supply power looms necessary power supply and vast market necessary and skilled labor and humid climate it is very important one humid climate so climatic support we are discussing about the factors responsible uh, for the location of industry there the climate we discussed the climate humid climate necessary okay and so where is it this cotton textile industries especially it is distributed in maharashtra gujarat tamil nadu karnataka madhya pradesh rajasthan uttar pradesh punjab and haryana and most of the cotton textile industries are concentrated in mumbai so mumbai is known as the cottonopolis of india or manchester of india why mumbai is known as the manchester of india like manchester most of the cotton text manchester in england most of the cotton textile industries are concentrated in mumbai so it is called as manchester of india comparison okay so this is so mainly uh, about the cotton textile industries okay in karnataka last year we studied about in karnataka davanagiri is called as manchester of karnataka okay so this is about the cotton textile industry next is sugar industry sweet people who don't want sweet so sugar industry let us discuss about it the main factors for the location of uh, the sugar industry uh, that is the supply of sugar cane because uh, sugar industries are concentrated or located very near to sugar cane field what is the reason main reason is sugar cane is weight lossing and perishable raw material remember friends sugar cane is perishable long term you can't keep after harvest and weight lossing the liquid inside the sugar cane it will become dry weight lossing so most of the sugar industries are located very near to sugar cane field supply of sugar cane very important cheap and efficient transport facility and government encouragement necessary and market and capital these are important factors yeah so it is another agro based industry and the first cotton comes next this one <coughs> and actually uh, the preparing by using the sugar cane uh, preparing the jaggery or gur or kansari etc it is not the new one old one actually yeah uh, in the beginning of 20th century this uh, sugar cane industry started in india yeah and uh, in the main uh, uh, olden days the jaggery they used to prepare sugar industry in the beginning of 20th century it started here yeah and uh, uh, here distribution where is it mainly in maharashtra uttar pradesh karnataka tamil nadu andhra pradesh gujarat punjab haryana and bihar and also in odisha you can see this yeah uttar pradesh is highest producer of uh, highest grower of this sugar cane but here south indian sugar cane is having more sugar content so it is important one. okay and uh, here uh, from the sugar cane in the sugar industry some by products are there that is molasses and bagasse yeah so uncrystallized syrup extracted from the raw sugar during the refining and used in the preparation of alcohol so that is molasses and bagasse after crushing the stems by removing the sugar cane juice whatever it remains that is bagasse which is used to prepare paper and sometimes as a fuel also so it is bagasse okay so this is about sugar industry next we have discuss about paper industry paper see iron and steel industry there the usage of iron and steel says about the development of the nation is how much the iron and steel used that much developed same way paper how much paper we use depending upon that we can measure the literacy rate whether they are literate etc we can understand yes and especially education and literacy level in a country are measured by the consumption of paper in that country okay and 
the art of paper making that is introduced in india during the 10th century itself yeah actually in the beginning it is a cottage industry and the first modern paper mill was set up in 1932 at serampur in west bengal and there got a paper mill they started but production not started but the real start was made in 1870 in bali near kolkata bali near kolkata okay the first modern paper mill was set up in 1932 and it exploded with even in 1832 okay and raw materials <coughs> which are the raw materials required to produce paper bamboo cellulose uh, pulp grasses like sabai babar etc and straw of paddy wheat straw of paddy wheat and bagasse just now i told after extracting the juice from uh, sugarcane cotton lint and rags etc so these are the raw materials some chemicals necessary so they are the raw materials required to prepare paper and what is it especially this uh, uh, along with these raw materials actually we need plenty of water yeah and also the market necessary cheap labor so power supply and some chemicals also necessary okay and it is uh, distributed here in west bengal maharashtra gujarat uttar pradesh tamil nadu andhra pradesh madhya pradesh and odisha in these states it is distributed yeah and whatever the paper we produce in india it is not enough to meet the demand the population is high so we have to import we are importing especially new sprint whatever say only in nepanagar only in nepanagar we have this uh, new sprint and uh, so whatever they produce there that is not enough to meet we are importing that one also so this is about paper industry next we have to discuss about uh, another industry that is Uh, knowledge based industry see here till now we discussed about uh, other mineral based industry agro based industry so this one we discussed now knowledge based industry here raw material is the knowledge brain brilliancy yeah and uh, actually industries which are relatively intensive in their inputs of technology and human education here our education and our technology and our uh, brilliancy by using that one whatever we produce that is knowledge based industry here mainly itbt comes information technology is the key knowledge based industry and biotechnology also yeah and the, uh development of knowledge based industry nowadays it is a powerful tool in the socio economic change yes and uh, uh, india has uh, the potential to become a leading knowledge based industry uh, with the young population interesting population and interested population and growing information technology nowadays you can observe that yeah and uh, these industries are rapidly developing its main components are uh, software and hardware software uh, companies how many software companies are there in india many software technology parks stp were established in 1995 yeah uh, most of the more than 2000 uh, software companies are there in bangalore itself Bangalore is the most important center for Indian software industry. So it is called as Silicon Valley of India. Bangalore is known as the Silicon Valley of India. And here uh, Mysore, Bangalore, Udupi, Hubballi and uh, are the other centers of uh, software in Karnataka. And with that in south southern states like Karnataka, Maharashtra, Tamil Nadu and Telangana they have more potentiality and more industries 
uh, industries developed in this these states yeah and uh, uh, this uh, information technology institutions have been established and concentrated in bangalore mumbai pune chennai hyderabad kolkata delhi noida see in these cities it developed city important thing. yeah and uh, software has become important item of export in india now which earns a large amount of foreign exchange for the country yeah so software technology knowledge based technology nowadays very very important one everyone going towards that side and recently small changes they made artificial intelligence so by that human work will become is becoming very less and machine itself it will do automatically all the works when machines will start to rule the human being we don't know let me start recently so anyway industries they develop in the country so here we have to concentrate in this area we should not waste our natural resources and properly we have to use the natural resources and industries they should should not spoil the environment nature should be like it only with the nature we have to live we should not go against the nature nature friendly technology we have to develop so it is a challenge in front of you develop such a, such a technology nature friend technology develop and develop the industry such industries develop so definitely it will help the nature also and nature will protect us thank you very much for listening thank you